Welcome to Sweet Rep's Beginner's Guide to NetSuite Development, where you can learn how to take your suite scripting to the next level. If you've been following along in this series, you now understand the major suite script types and some of the basics of coding in Sweet Script 2.0. Now, let's explore Sweet Script modules some more. We'll define what a script module is and demonstrate how to add them to your script. We'll be working with the dialog module and we'll add it to the script we've been working with. First, let's define Sweet Script modules. Think of Sweet Script modules as boxes of tools. Each box has specific tools that your script needs in order to do certain actions in that suite. If you don't include a specific module in your script, your script won't have access to the tools, think functions, in that box. In the script where we left off in our last video, we used two modules, nRecord and nSearch. Those modules are not actually being used in this script, but we'll use them in future videos. To add a module, just include it with the current list. If we add the NUI dialog module, the script would look like this. Notice that we added two things, NUI dialog in the list of modules and dialog in the list of functions. Adding dialog to the list of functions gives your script access to the dialog box of tools. It's like the key to the box. When you want to use a tool or function in the box, you would take that key and do something like dialog.useThisTool. Now, let's look at some of the basic module components. Suite script modules include members and options. To connect these to our toolbox analogy, the members are the tools in the toolbox, and each member has options. Options tell each tool how to act. For example, the dialog module has three members, alert, confirm, and create. We want to use the alert member since we want an alert box that looks like a native NetSuite alert, which is different from the generic alert box we created in the previous video. To add this alert to the code, replace alert, my first suite script, with dialog.alert. Then we need to include some of the options or tool settings inside the parentheses. The main options for dialog.alert are title and message. Here is what dialog.alert looks like when you add in the options. Make sure you have the options inside the curly brackets and that the options are separated by commas. Each option starts with the name of the option followed by a colon and the value of that option. In this case, the title of the alert box will be announcement and the message in the box will be my first suite script. The complete script will look like this. To update your script in NetSuite to test it, navigate to the script record you created in the last tutorial and follow these steps. View the script record, go to the scripts tab, click edit next to the script file, copy your new code and paste it in the window that pops up to replace the old code, and then save the code. Finally, navigate to a customer record and click on edit to test your code. You will see an alert box appear that looks just like a native NetSuite alert box. Thanks for watching. To see more of our videos on NetSuite development, be sure to follow us on LinkedIn, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and visit us at sweetrep.com.